Hi and welcome to another training video and in this video tutorial we will be doing um, assessment family 3 okay. so there's already a video for assessment family 1 and 2 and upcoming will be 4 and 5 so stay tuned for those videos they should be uploaded together so you should have no troubles finding them and uh, and this is the table that we will be creating in this video as family tree and it's a glass table and we are, you can see the shape is a little bit uh, you will notice that you might need to use a different tool other than extrusion you might need to use sweep or blend and that's all possible in this family itself so I'm just going to go through with you how you can create this family so before we begin I just um, want you to just take a picture so because I will be closing this document when I'm uh, showing you the modeling so you probably need to take a picture and reference this image from your phone so that you know what I'm creating so take a while to take a picture okay so we will begin uh, creating this table that you just saw families new matrix generic model again create the skeleton of the table using the reference planes okay so that was the length and now creating the reference plane for the width dimensions eq uh, over length this is uh, eq again overall width and that is the shape of the table and i'm just going to change the values first and before that just to create a parameter before i change it so this will represent the width and right now i'm just going to change the length to 1005 the width is a thousand as specified by the assessment uh, documents itself and create extrusion and uh, i'm just going to create the frame of the table first okay so this is uh, remember to lock it and you'll notice that in the middle is a glass so uh, since the tabletop and uh, there's a glass in the middle they're going to use different materials so if there are different materials you need to create the extrusion separately so i will not be creating the gra glass but instead i'll create the void that the glass would fill so uh, if you look at the image you need to be all sides need to be 100 mm away or the offset for the frame towards the glass to be 100 okay, change all these to 100 this you can actually see in the first picture of assessment family tree you will notice that all of them have an offset of 100 just lock it because it's not parametric and so when I press the green tick, only this portion is created. The center portion will be void or empty simply because we're going to put a glass there later on. Okay. And I probably do the glass slightly later. Okay. Uh, right now, I just want to go to the front elevation and take care of the thickness and height of the table using two reference planes one that is for the height of the table one is for the thickness of the table give it a parameter and this shall be height okay parameter and height so i'm just going to align this to the top same with this at the bottom i'm just going to change the values for the height to be 900 and thickness to be 50 thickness 50 100 it will be height lower thickness shall go lower as well press the ok button and that was for the table top so next we're going to create the legs of the table and for the top portion okay the top portion of the legs of the table they are actually larger so they are 100 by 100 uh, actually they take the entire frame so this is the 100, of the 100 by 100 that uh, they are taking the space off okay 
and when it goes to the bottom it actually becomes the legs become smaller to be 50 by 50 okay so it starts from 100 by 100 and end off as 50 by 50 so i'm just going to um, create extrude so it should be a blend because the top and bottom is of a different profile okay so it's blend and it says uh, edit top if it says edit top means you're drawing the bottom at this point in time so some of you might not notice you are actually uh, the picture if you analyze it a bit closer the legs of the table at the bottom is not at the center but it's actually at the corner here okay so i'm just going to align it first dimension to the reference plane and this shall be 50 and 50 just lock it because it's not going to be parametric and next click on edit top where I need to draw uh, 100 by 100 lock it here here as well here as well okay 100 100 so this will be the leg one leg so the thing about blend is you cannot create four legs at the same time uh, extrusion you have you could do it as shown in exercise one uh, sorry assessment one and assessment two tables you could have seen how it was done that the extrusion was able to create multiple legs at the same time but for a blend that would not be possible so all i have to do is all i can do now is to just press the green tick for this leg to appear so if we go to the front elevation i need to align to the bottom of the table and this one to the bottom as well remember it looks like it's already locked but it's never already locked you need to lock it just push it higher and then uh, stick it back down you should find the lock again so that's for one leg and you just repeat the same steps for the three remaining sides using the blend tool so what i'm going to do is nothing different from the first one when i lock i lock to the reference plane and not lock to the shape when I dimension, I dimension to the reference plane and not to the shape as well. That is a very good, um, I would not say very good practice, but it will save you a lot of troubles uh, based, uh, because of the quirkiness of Revit itself. So it's better to just use the reference plane when there is a reference plane. Actually, I could have locked this one here, lock this one here, dimension. So a little bit more tedious if we have to create the leg separately and i'll just leave it here first i'll just take care of the legs from the reference level view i will later move to the front elevation to fix those uh, height issues of the legs I create using the wrong tool with this extrusion I should have used blend so that's what's wrong here um, okay. you see I can create a dimension first and then lock it later it does not make any difference in this situation And the last leg, a little tedious, but we will do it. We can get this done. Oops. Okay, and at the top.
OK, press the green tick, and now they are fine in the reference level profile, but in the elevation, I need to kind of adjust them, lock them to the reference plane. Make sure to select the right objects, so you have to move a little bit in case you find yourself uh, confused. Okay, so it's better to just move it a little bit before you align. So all the legs are locked at this point in time, and all I had to do is just a glass in the middle, and the glass is said to be 25 mm thick. So a glass is just a rectangular piece of shape. Uh, I use this, I lock this to the four sides of the table frame. Oops, 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 here should be locked. Just align again to lock it here. Uh, press the green tick and let me see from the front elevation. Let me just check what can I see in the front. Actually, I can't see it here. Oh, it's here, it's on the, it's on the ground. So I'm just going to make sure that the difference is 25 because the thickness of the glass is 25 mm so I lock it here and then I align to the top reference plane so that will be the glass so this will be kind of the glass material okay and the frame material legs material you need to select all four legs because they are not an extrusion, they are a blend, so we have to kind of adjust that. Oops, next materials. Okay, so all the materials are there. And for glass, I'm just going to pick the default or uh, the glass that's already provided in the family. So that make it more realistic. So there you go, um, a little bit more work. Which I call the admin work, is to create all these type so the type is 1500L by 1000W by 900H okay and next will be um, the model it is TRB-01 the description is dining table so there's a new one another family type that is a different size one is 00L times 00W times 900H and just got to change the parameter values don't just put the name but not change it so remember to change them it's still called dining table except that it's 02 press the ok button click on the yellow one and change it to the furniture category and there you go for this family so thank you so much and see you in the next video for assessment 4 assessment family 4 and assessment family 5